Hello and welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today I have the Winchester SX4 Upland 12 gauge. So if you're looking for an in-depth and fun review, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Now, throughout this review, I'm gonna be going through a lot of different areas. If you're looking only for a specific area, make sure you check the description below. I've laid it out so you can skip to exactly the area that you're looking to get to. Otherwise, if you want the full comprehensive review, that starts right now. First thing I'm gonna hit you with is quickly the specs of the shotgun. This is the 28 inch model. It comes in 28 or 26 inch barrels. 12 gauge or 20 gauge. Like I mentioned, this is the 12 gauge version. This comes in at seven pounds, two ounces. So fairly light shotgun. Looking at the drop at comb, it is one and three quarter inches. And then back at the heel, there's two inches of drop. Length of pull is 14 and a quarter inches, which is just a little bit short for me. I'm about six feet tall, just under six feet tall. And it's a little bit short for me. Luckily, Winchester sends spacers that you can add to the rear of your stock to lengthen that length of pull. What you're gonna wanna look for with any shotgun is when you pull it up and mount, you want at least one and a half to two and a half finger widths between your thumb here and your nose. If the length of pull is too short and your nose is right up against your thumb, when the gun re coils, there's a good chance it smacks you right in the nose. Not a whole lot of fun. So just a quick little tip there to check length of pull. Let's take a look at the trigger and see how heavy the trigger pull is. I got my Wheeler trigger pull scale here. How heavy is that trigger pull? Here we are, five and a half pounds. It's not a lot, not for a shotgun. Let's give it another try. Where you place the scale on the trigger does matter. Okay, just over five and a half pounds on that one. That's a pretty decent trigger pull for a shotgun. I like it, I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10. Now, as far as ease of cleaning and breakdown of the firearm for service or just general cleaning, I'll show you how easy it breaks down. Let's break it down. All right, I think this gun is very simple to take down, easy to clean, but I'd love to get your opinion. I'm gonna take it apart and you can see how fast and simple it is, just for fun. I'm gonna get the timer going. I'm gonna take it as far as I would go to clean the gun. Ready, set, go. Okay, first thing I'm doing, taking off the fore end cap. Move, fingers move. Okay, that's off, forearms off, barrels off. Of course, I made sure the gun was clear before I started. Piston comes off, this comes off, spring comes off. Just gonna release the bolt, take off the charging handle, take out the bolt. I usually use a punch to push these pins out. And if my hands aren't too greasy, it comes out pretty easy. There we are, stop it. 33.27 seconds. Guns apart, there it is. And by the way, if I was actually cleaning this gun, the only thing I would do different is I would take off my choke tube, make sure I would clean those threads, re-oil it so it doesn't get locked or frozen in there. Now, how fast can I put it back together? Let me get my parts organized where I know where everything is. It's gonna take just a little bit longer, I think, but here we go. Just the opposite of how we put it together. Put the trigger group in. This can be the trickiest part, trying to find that hole, popping the pins in. One pin in. There we go, two pins in. Then we come back and pull, put our bolt in, make sure that this tail goes into the buffer tube, little tube back there, trying to see it. Come on, it's, there we go. Charging handle in, that's good to go. Spring on, get on there. This piece on, piston on, sliding over to the barrel. This can be a little tricky to finagle too. Sometimes it helps to pull the bolt down barrels on, forearm on, and 
That is on. 55 seconds. Of course, I got a little experience. Maybe I make it look a little easier than it is, but very simple gun to break down in my opinion and clean, especially with uh, all the different parts. Still very simple. I give it a nine out of 10. Next up, taking a look at the ergonomics. Basically the look and the feel of the shotgun. I think Winchester did a great job with this. They took the SX3, which was one of my personal favorites, and they only made it better. The forearm is easier to hold on to. I think it feels great in the hands. The grip on the stock is, I would say medium. It's not too small, it's not too large. It fits my hand well. And then they took all the controllers and oversized them, like the safety. It's now square instead of round. Nice and easy to push, no need to look at it. The trigger guard got a lot bigger. So if you're hunting with gloves, obviously that makes that a lot easier to get in there and squeeze the trigger. The charging handle on the bolt is now oversized, which is pretty slick, again, using gloves. And the bolt release is a nice size, easy to find, no need to look. Close is pretty simple. So when it comes to the ergonomics of the SX4, I also like to look at the balance point of the gun. Right where the receiver meets the forearm, that's our balance point. I love the way this gun feels in my hands. Of course, I'm a little biased. That came with a lot of repetitions, but it's a well-balanced gun. Feels good in the hands, easy to mount up. And when I do, my eye is right over that rib. Now, one thing you can try when you're looking at guns is just to see how well it fits you is close your eyes, look at a object in the distance, close, then close your eyes and mount up. Where's your head lined up? Is it over the rib? Now, sometimes we do have to fit ourselves to the shotgun, especially when you're looking at semi-autos. There is some adjustments like length of pull. Sometimes you can adjust a little bit of the drop of comb, but unlike an over-under, sometimes they're pretty limited in their customizations. Unless you're gonna get a gun custom fit to you, you might have to slightly adjust yourself to the gun, but the closer you can get to a gun that fits you well, the better, absolutely. And this gun fits me pretty well. So if I had to give this gun a score on ergonomics, I would give it a nine. I think it feels great. It's well balanced, mounts well. Nine out of 10 is what I give the SX4. Looking at recoil, not only is the Winchester SX4 a fairly light gun at seven pounds, two ounces in this specific 28 inch version, but it's also light on recoil. In fact, one of the lightest recoiling guns I have ever shot, which some people say not a big deal, recoil doesn't affect me, but a lot of other people, myself included, hey, if I don't need the recoil, why have it? So if you're recoil sensitive or just want a gun that uh, shoots really light and yet uh, pretty dang fast as well, uh, this could be a great option for you. I really highly recommend a light recoiling gun, especially for new shooters or smaller frame shooters. It just makes the experience that much more enjoyable. No one likes to get the tar beat out of them and it's just more fun when it's not painful, right? So when it comes to recoil, I'm gonna give the SX4 Upland Edition a nine out of 10, very light shooting gun. I don't know that I've shot a gun, 12 gauge anyways, that has lighter recoil than this one, but it's really hard to get a 10 until I've shot pretty much every gun out there. I don't know that I'll give away any 10s, so nine on the recoil. As far as quality of build, I'm looking at it relative to the price point, right? So if this was a $100,000 gun and they use these same materials and same finish, I would say, ah, oh, wow, not great. But being that this gun has a $1,149 MSRP, I'm not gonna judge it the same as I would a high-end six-figure shotgun. So looking at the build materials, it's got a Turkish walnut stock, which I think is uh, rather good looking with a matte finish. It has a matte nickel finish on the receiver, and then it's a blued, a matte blued barrel. And so overall, I think it's a great looking shotgun. Uh, talking quality of build, I don't know that I can give it a nine. Uh, I, it's close, it's up there. There's a few things that I don't prefer, such as where the stock meets the receiver, there's just a little hump there that catches a fingernail. It also catches my hand as it rubs there if you're walking. Uh, for any length of time, your hand kind of rubs there and rubs it raw. Uh, the forearm, there's just a little bit of wiggle to it, not much. Like I've said, hundreds of thousands of rounds, it's never been an issue that I've noticed, but um, there's just a little slop there that I would love to see tightened up. One issue that happened with the SX4s early on in their manufacturing was the handle would pop off while you're shooting. 
the charging handle. It would pop out of the bolt. It was not an issue actually with the handle itself, but with the bolt. So if you have an SX4 and you are having those issues, uh, I would recommend you contact Winchester and they'll probably have you send the gun in and get a new bolt with that issue fixed. More recently, the guns that Winchester has been putting out, I have not heard of that being an issue. Any of the guns that I've received in the SX4s, that has not been an issue, but just a little heads up there. So overall build quality, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I think it's uh, got a nice finish. It, it's a great looking gun. Just a few tolerances that I would like to see a little tighter. Eight and a half for build quality. Anytime I'm looking at a semi-auto shotgun, I wanna know how reliable is it? Hunting loads, target loads, usually hunting loads aren't an issue. Hunting loads are a heavier load. They generally operate a shotgun more effectively. It's when we get down to the lighter target loads, an ounce and an eighth, down to one ounce, down to seven eighths ounce in a 12 gauge anyways. I'll, usually shooting an ounce and an eighth, hundreds of thousands of rounds. When I'm shooting from the shoulder, I have noticed almost never an issue. If there was an issue, it's usually my fault. Uh, shooting from the hip, over the head, different stuff like that. Yep, sometimes there's issues when they are not clean. But I tell you what, if you shoot a thousand rounds to your shotgun all from the shoulder, you're probably not going to have an issue. And if you do, it might have came down to cleaning and lubrication of your shotgun in the first place. Which, hey, by the way, would you like to see a video on how to clean the SX4? How to properly lubricate the SX4 so it shoots reliably round after round after round? Comment below if you'd like to see that. So I know this gun is a very reliable gun, even on the light target loads, but what Winchester touts is the fastest auto loader on the market. Let's put that to the test right now. For the speed test, I'm using the Federal Top Gun. This is obviously 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch, 1200 feet per second, one and an eighth ounce. Now I'm not gonna just shoot the gun three times fast and see how long it took, right? That would tell you how fast a person can pull the trigger but what we want to know is how fast is it when you're actually acquiring targets. So I have my shot timer, I'll push the side button, give it a few seconds. When I hear the beep, I will hand throw three clays out and shoot them as fast as I can. I'll try this three times, we'll take the fastest time that I accomplish and see how fast this gun is at shooting three clays in rapid succession. That was pretty fast fast. One, six, eight. First go around is a one, six, eight. One, six, two. Didn't powder that last one, but I definitely broke it. Let's see if I can go even faster on the third one. One, one, two. One, one, two. How about that? Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. And until next time, remember, it's only possible to hit the targets that you're focused on. So whether in the field or in life, stay target focused. See ya.